So this is going to be slope. All right. This one's going to be slope. So here's how we're going to get this done. First of all, when it comes to slope, you got to know the formula. So your formula for slope is going to be this. Let me write this down for you. Slope is going to be equal. You've heard it as rise over run, maybe like that. But you can go ahead and say y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1. So that's it right there. So that's your formula. Does anybody here recognize your formula? Does anybody recognize it? y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1. Yeah, and it's okay if you forgot about it. No worries. No worries. And if you're confused about what the twos and the ones mean, like what the heck is, what's y2, what's y1, what's x2, what's x1, that's just basically telling you which coordinate you're looking at. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So if I'm looking at this first one here and I wanna mark it as the first one, sure. If you wanna mark this one as the first one, it doesn't matter. Just stay consistent. You know, if you have to make sure that if you say that this is X1, well, that this is Y1. And if you're gonna say that this is your second X, well, the one attached to it is your second Y. That's it. That's really, truly it. You just have to be consistent. You can swap it. You can say that the negative six and six is X2, Y2. But you cannot say that it's X1 with Y2, no. Or X2 with Y1, no. You have to be consistent, especially in the formula. Notice how it's the second, the second Y with the second X. Both of those start first. You can swap them if you want to. You can do Y1 minus Y2. But in the bottom, you'll have to start with X1 minus X2. It's really about consistency. So the first thing you need to do is just plug your numbers in. So I'm gonna say right here, you know, this is x1, y1. And over here, I'll say that this one is x2, y2. And notice how there's a minus between them. Minus on top and bottom. If you have a negative, that means you're gonna have a double negative at some point, pay attention to that, pay attention to that. Let's plug things in, let's have a party. So my slope here, equals, and let's plug everything in. My y2, what did I see that it was? Negative seven. Minus, what's my y1? That's the y from right there, that's gonna be six. Next up, we have x2 on the bottom, and that's gonna be four. And then we have minus, and then we see that the x1 is gonna be negative six. Let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math, so why not join me? Click the link right here, that way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. So notice how we have a double negative. Everyone, a double negative is the same as doing what? A double negative is the same as adding, exactly. A double negative is the same as adding, and so therefore, this is all we got, nice and easy. Watch this. My slope equals negative seven minus six. Let's look at the top here. Negative seven minus six, that's like saying, hey, I'm back seven, I'm going back six more, where am I? I'm back, negative, exactly, arrows. I'm back 13. So that's gonna be negative 13 up top. And then we're gonna have four minus negative six, which is the same thing as saying four plus six, and four plus six is 10. So my final answer here is gonna be negative 13 over 10. And that's our answer, negative 13 over 10 and we choose D as the correct answer. 
And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.